What's up, Duelists? It's your boy. I'm reporting from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm in a new space on a little bit of a new setup, missing some of my overlays, but I just wanted to get a video out to tell you guys that even though the online signups for RBT Maryland are closed, you can still sign up in person the day of the tournament and tomorrow before the tournament. So uh, Friday and Saturday, the day of the tournament, you can sign up. So make sure you guys are, are coming through if you haven't signed up. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. Signups. You're still able to sign up. We haven't hit our capacity yet. However, good news. We did break the record for highest attended RBT ever, even factoring in online ones. Uh, this one's going to have, I believe, around 250 players already pre-registered. And then we'll probably get some day of players as well. So possibly upwards of 256 to 270 players. Um, it'd be really crazy if we broke 300. That'd be, that'd be insane on an RBT. That'd be really something. But... Anyway, we got an eight-man tournament. I'm playing DD Warrior Lady Dragons. This is a deck I've played a bunch in the past. This is not my uh, not my most up-to-date list. This is an older list, but I'm just gonna throw it on and play it because I just wanted to get a video out. You know, it's it's been a little while. I just you, you know what's going on. You know what's happening. Round one is versus Dopa Miner. You, if you've watched any of my videos, then you know what's happening. Good luck. Have fun. To the man, the myth, the legend himself. And I'm going to be picking rock. Dude, I cannot win rock, paper, scissors. I cannot win it. It is impossible. <sighs> it's, just, it's just impossible. My hand's not bad, though. Uh, Wyvern's pretty good monster, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. It's quite strong. People complain about drawing it, but I'm like an 1800 that floats. That's pretty good. It's only like really bad if your opponent has a hamster. And even then, it's like fine. Like they Ryko pop the wyvern, and you're like, all right. It's not even like a huge minus. It is like an immediate minus, but like later on, the wyvern will give you a plus. The longer the game goes, the better it is. All right, he's going to rota for Greffer, so we're going to see some sort of dark monster shenanigans. Cyber Valley is the normal summon. Set back row. Okay, um, I think I know this deck. Because we drew Dust Shoot, I'm not going to use Book to kill the... Well, actually, I don't want to set a billion, so maybe I will use Book to kill the Cyber Valley. So I'm going to normal Wyvern and see if this is okay. Do I want to use the Book to kill this? Nah, let's just trigger it. I It's too high risk into a back row. Plus, he probably needs the Cantrip, yeah. We're going to be able to see the hand with the um thing <laughs> that's so descriptive right with the dust shoot man what if he has heavy storm that'd be so bad all right let's dust shoot him i just have to set three because there's like a chance he can go for some crazy shit what the fuck is this special summon an arch free monster but it cannot be attributed is destroyed during end phase why did he search Dark Greffer with this hand? Oh, he probably did it to deck then. I'll take Valley. We've got Return, Gref 2, uh, Wind Blast, Roar. I don't know what the fuck that Roar shit is, but... It probably is a combo with his Cyber Valley. Like, he brings back a guy, and then he Cyber Valleys it away, and then he draws two, and then he returns it back. That's probably the combination attack. That being said... We're kind of chilling. What did he have? Wind Blast? Some Roar card. Yeah, whatever. This is a little fun. Priority. All right. Go off, King. Go off, Terror King, Archfiend. Oh, Infernities. Fuck. Never mind. I've been duped. That's actually pretty bad for me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Damn, I've been duped. Okay. Um. Well... I'll try and kill his Graffy boy. He's gonna let that happen. Shit. Fuck Archfiend's roar, dude. And he has returned to get Cyber Valley in play. That's ugly, dude. That's so ugly. Alright, let's Gold Sark. We gotta survive two turns. Let's go get Future Fusion. I don't know. If we make it past two turns, that'd be kind of nice. Past turn. So he's going to go Roar. He's going to Wind Blast at some point. 
and just try to hit a blind back row. Maybe I shouldn't have set the call of the haunted. Maybe he doesn't win bless. I don't fucking know. I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh, Armageddon Knight. That's bad for us. Can't stop that. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be tricky. He can't summon Plague, though, so he just got a pass. At least not yet. He, I mean, he could have tried. He could have gone to, like, Roar, bring back Archfiend. Um, when this card is special summon, you can add one Infernity, and then he could have added something and then stacked it for Plague. Like, added Necromancer, stacked it for Plague, and then Synchroed, and he could have tried something like that. But, uh, alas, he did not. So, I still don't know what his back rows are, so I'm just going to try and attack him. And then I will commit the warrior lady. Just so we have like extra defense. He could have like mirror force or some shit. And now he has another card in his hand. He can wind blast us now. But next turn we get future fusion. He might be saving the wind blast for future fusion. Man. He could also like. Like he could archfiend. He could archfiend roar. Search archfiend. Stack. Yeah, so this can he can stack the second Archfiend with Plague, which is pretty strong. So like, this is kind of his play. So that next turn he can top deck Archfiend and then get the Archfiend going. But he does have to stack the Archfiend, yeah. I think that's what he's doing. So he gets his plus one. He can then stack his stack for Plague. Okay. And then this happens. Next turn, he's getting a, a nasty Archfiend plus, but now he has no cards in hand for Windblast, so... I mean, that's just game, right? So... Cool. I'm gonna try to bottomless this. Hmm. He can return it back, though. That's the problem. That's not good now, is it? Maybe I should've... Uh, even if I deprison it, that was bad. Yeah, return here is crazy. Jesus. He pays 35. He gets the Goyo. He gets to draw two. Man. Okay, he's going to let us have Future Fusion. That's interesting. That's not what I was expecting. Um. But that's that should be game. Because like, now he can't do anything. As long as we get Drago and Grave, we should win. So, activate, reveal five-headed dragon. This is going to send Drago, Red Eyes, probably Wyvern, Wyvern, and Totem. And that is five. And then I'll probably just flip the Warrior Lady and start attacking with both. And M phase, we can bring out a red eyes. He's gonna mirror force me. I don't even give a shit about that. That's like fine. Um, then I'll just go end phase, wyvern, bring out red eyes. Totem dragon shut off, but like, who cares? I just don't think there's anything he can do. So he activates this. Um, that's fine. This doesn't do anything. It just doesn't, doesn't get him out of the situation he's in, you know? Now he can wind blast stuff, but like, who cares? The return is the only play he has. And we have chain call to stop that, so. Because we just call target Drago, and then he's only able to bring back Goyo. And then we can like deep prison the Goyo or whatever. He could Necromancer back the Archfiend. That's, like, pretty annoying. I can't lie. Actually, he can't really do that, because we have the Drago. How interesting. Um, Summon is okay. I just don't really know what all this is trying to accomplish. Sure. Because this still doesn't beat the uh, red eyes. <laughs> so, 
I don't really know. There's no Infernity tuners in Edison format, so... Like, as much as I think that this is cool, that he's doing the thing, I just... I just... <laughs> there's no Infernity tuners in Edison format. So, what can you do? <coughs> what can you do? Infernity Force, what? Destroy the attacking monster and special summon one Infernity monster. Right. Cost. I'm gonna ask him for the cost. Pay half. Alright, I'm gonna chain this. Target Drago. I mean, this doesn't even matter. You can chain Windblast, target the call. But then he loses the force. I'm drawing a call next turn. I still have the red eyes in play. And he can't really do anything. So I'm like actually just chilling. I just booked the plague. Um, yeah. I'll summon, book the plague. Viewing graveyard. I might even let the crash connect. I might even let that happen. Should I let that happen? I'm trying to call the haunted next turn. No, I should not let that happen. I should just deep prison this and win the game. Yeah, red eyes is fucking crazy. All right, sick. Nice. Well, his deck does kind of lose the rivalry, so I'm going to bring that in, <laughs> obviously. Not sure what else, though. Like, Dust Tornado is probably fine. It, it's a cool deck. Like, I'm I'm not going to pretend like it's not a cool deck. I'm pretty sure Necromancer gets hit by pulling a rug, which is kind of funny. Yeah, Dust Tornado is not bad. Pulling the rug is not bad. Dust Shoot is pretty bad. We got lucky that it resolved that game. Starlight Road is interesting. He has Infernity Force. I don't know if that card's even good. Damn, dude. This is a tough one. This is a tough cookie to crack. I like Book of Moon. I like Lightning Vortex. I like Totem Dragon. I like all my dragons. I don't even know, man. What are we doing? What does this deck do again? It's like Cyber Valley? Maybe it's like Cyber Dragon to just eat the Cyber Valleys. That's very disrespectful. I'm going to cut these cards. Maybe I cut a Starlight Road. I'm bringing in five. Do I need three Dust Tornado? Is that something I need? Maybe I don't need Rota. Okay. Yeah, Rivalry makes TD Warrior Lady a little awkward. For sure. For sure, for sure. Compulsory seems pretty funny. All right. Whatever. TD Warrior Lady's nice. It just banishes this guy. I and mean, so does everything else, right? Heavy storm is good draw. Holy shit. I hope he has Starlight Road. GG's. GG's. Brutal. That's. That's fucked. That's fucked. His deck is cool. I'll say it. That deck is cool. But. Damn, dude. Damn, have you just set in four? That's something I would do, honestly. That's something I would do. Next up, we got Joseph. Joseph, who almost made it to top eight of RBT Orlando. Um, playing this exact deck, I believe. <laughs> it was something very similar. So, he's going to be there at RBT Maryland. In a day and a half, so good luck, have fun. One of the OGs, very strong player. No idea what you're playing besides Heavy Storm. <laughs> he must have watched the end of that match. Or just Heavy Stormed. Oh, double scissors, dude. Brutal, brutal activations on today. Sad, this is a quick vid. 
think that's the fastest I've ever been able to play round two. Both of us won fast. Shit. Oh my god, it's a mirror match. Okay. Alright. Alright. So, you know. <laughs> it's like, you gotta go for this, right? And you gotta try and get the uh, future fusion. It may seem a little weird, but I'm actually gonna use the heavy storm right now. Why am I gonna use the heavy storm? Huh. Typhoon can hit his future fusion. That's why I think it's pretty good. But I don't wanna use heavy storm right now. I'm gonna use my Drago to try and kill his Drago. Bottomless. Shit. <laughs> of course that would happen. I'm gonna set my bottomless and pass. I have a lot of outs to Drago. I have four DD Warrior Ladies, three D Prisms, two more Dragos, Exploder Dragon, Mass Dragons. So I have a lot of ways to kill this card. I just need to draw them. <sighs> he can't activate Future Fusion while his Drago is up. I was hoping it'd be like Mirror Force or something. Book of Moon. There we are. That'll do it. All right, set and then set. I'm gonna set the Typhoon now because if he attacks with the Drago, then um, we he can future fusion in phase two. So I don't want to let him do that. He's like, oh, there's a warrior lady. No, there's no warrior lady. Got a bottomless that. Let's see if he wants to attack. He might not want to attack. He's going to. Okay. So interesting choice. Wonder if he has another Drago. It might mean he has another Drago, but he can't summon it. He just summoned Warrior Lady, so. Set a second one. Alright, standby phase, we get future fusion. I mean I can guarantee the future fusion sticks. His hand is Wyvern 2 unknown. What a fucking <coughs> challenging situation we found ourselves in. I'm going to Typhoon blind and hit the second one. Torrential, all right. And then I'll Heavy Storm and hit the other one. I think this is about as good as it's going to get. We're low resource. We're resolving future fusion. Um, there's like greed reasons to wait, but let's be real. All right, let's send Wyvern, Wyvern. Wyvern, and now this is the hard part. I think it is Totem Red Eyes. I know. It seems a little crazy. So we have Call for Drago, and that would be pretty good. But I think, just based off of what we got going on here, this is going to be good enough. I think this is going to be good enough. Usually, unless he has his own future, maybe I should have sent Drago to Call for Drago. But, I wonder how that works. Like, if you activate your region, chain call for Drago, I wonder if they send the materials. That's something I'm curious about. That's an interesting ruling. I, if you're a judge, then go ahead and uh, judge off in the chat. This is the red eyes to trade with our red eyes, but it's bleeding card advantage. Smashing ground. Very much so. We can even just take this attack. I don't even care about that attack. End phase, call red eyes. Draw for turn as D prison. There's a vortex, his red eyes, right? If I have to. Yeah. All red eyes back, wyvern. Torrential's gone. Mirror force is not, though. Battle phase attack. Does he have D prison? No. Okay. There goes our red eyes, and then we'll attack for 18. Main phase 2. I'll set the D prison. End phase, we get to bring out the red eyes one last time. And we can pass. 
So, we found Future Fusion and he did not. So, that's pretty good. We also had ways to clear the back row in Space Hyphen and Heavy Storm. So, GG, that was a tough one. Dragons are good. Facts. Future Fusion's a crazy card and this, this is a crazy mirror match. I do like Trap Hole in the mirror match. I don't know. It seems kind of benign, but it can stop the normal summon that brings out the red eyes. I do like Dust Tornado as well. You just need ways to clear the back row before your future fusion goes off. And that's it. It's pretty simple. I don't really want to play into his um, Starlight Road if possible. But uh, I don't think you can really afford to cut a lot of these cards. Book is like one of the weakest... The shoot's not great going second because it is a set five mirror. Hmm. You can make arguments to siding out a red eyes because of how good Drago is against the deck. But I think siding out a red eyes is kind of scary. You risk both of them getting banished. Brain control is insane in the mirror match. The last card here is going to be a tricky one. We need Gold Sark to find Future Fusion. We need all our masked package because Exploder Dragon is so high value. It can clear White Knight Dragon, which is the trump card. It can also clear any one monster. I think we're going to go with one of our weakest cards, which is the second Starlight Road. We'll pass back. I'm sure he knows that I like to play Starlight Road, and I'm sure that he is also playing Starlight Roads. So he probably knows that I'm Starlight Road Gaming, you know what I mean? And so I think when you someone knows you're Starlight Road Gaming, it's very easy for them to just play around it. We've opened up very strong again. I can't complain about this hand at all. Mm. I think this is a pretty simple set, 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 pass. M phase dust. Hits the D prison. I'm pretty happy about that trade. Like, uh, we have two D prisons. I was basically going to use that on anything that attacked. It's really like. Well, it doesn't do anything. You know what I mean? Yep. Alright. So this is going to flip. We give him the opportunity to use it if he wants to. He's going to. We're both going to get banished. Next turn, I can storm with Solemn back up and then resolve Future Fusion and then probably win. Or, we can just activate Future Fusion with Solemn back up. Yeah, let's do that. Activate Future Fusion, feel five headed. He didn't save his Dust Tornado, so this guy is gonna, this guy's gonna go off. Yeah, triple Wyvern. Red Eyes, and I'm going to grab a Totem Dragon as well. And then I'm going to Gold Sark for another Red Eyes. And then just set Deep Prison and pass. I'm going to try to bring out the Red Eyes in my grave. If he has Bottomless, like that sucks for us, but it is what it is. We got Solemn for Storm. We have our own Storm if it ever comes to it. We've got a uh, Cascade of Advantage that just started. We are still down a card though. So there's Exploder. This is fine. <coughs> he's gonna um he's gonna try to attack us. And you know what? I'm actually gonna let this uh, happen. I'm gonna let that die. Just can just bring back the red eyes again. No problems. Standby phase one. Uh, end phase, I uh, will bring out the red eyes again. And pass. So, just a simple plus. The position is still the same, but now we have the monster and he doesn't. He can go for his own red eyes play here, but if he does that, then we can just figure something out. Mind control. That's scary. Um, do I want to solve it, though? Not really. It's scary, but like, it's not that scary. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's fine. Okay, he gets to bring back his own. Uh, it's interesting he's citing my control. I, I think that's a great sideboard card. 
He can now vanish it for his own red eyes, which is pretty strong. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's why mind control is so powerful in the mirror match. Just gave him a solid, what is that, plus? He gained two cards and I lost one as a plus three. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> it's really good. I am not going to lie, it is really good. But is it good enough? That's the real question. So, standby phase. We have some effects to resolve. The first one we're going to resolve is Totem Dragon. The second one we're going to resolve is Gold Sark. And the third one we're going to resolve is the uh, Five-Headed Dragon coming out. Main phase one. We've got Solemn. So basically anything we go for here just, just works. Um, do another fucking Gold Sark, though. That's super annoying. Do I have game? Yeah, I have game. I can just... How do I have game? I just brain control, right? Hmm. Yeah, I just brain control. Alright. Give me your guy. Banish. Special red eyes. Activate the effect. Special summon back my wyvern. Then battle phase. I guess 5,000 first. D prison. I'll solemn that. Hopefully that's just game. Nice. He didn't have an out to the red eyes when it attacked the beginning, so. Jeez. GG's, yeah, call the haunted, yeah. Able to brain control the guy to get him banished, so. Dragon best deck. Facts. We we're off to the finals. In a very difficult mirror match, we did draw better. This mirror is really fun. I just know, too, that mind control was crazy. Plus three mind control. That was really good. Is that either plus three or plus two? I, I don't know. Someone in the comment section will figure it out and tell me the simple basic math. See you Saturday at RET Maryland. Yo, it's fucking lit. It's fucking lit. All right, we're off to the finals. Who's in the finals? That was that was actually a pretty fun match. That was pretty fun. I actually really like this deck. I I think it cooks. I don't know. I think it's like, it's it's very fundamental. It's very simple. Like, okay, I'm going to gain card advantage. You're going to gain card advantage. And then eventually you're going to run out of card advantage, and I'm not because... All my cards, like, replace themselves. Like, Totem Dragon replaces itself. Red Eyes replaces itself. Wyvern replaces itself. Future Fusion, unironically, replaces itself. Like, <laughs> a million times over, of course. DD Warrior Lady banishes stuff. Drago locks out cards. So, like, every single one of your cards is getting you, like, pseudo card advantage. And then you just have, like, these insane, ridiculous bomb spells and traps. Like, Dust Shoot and Solemn, which give you immeasurable advantage like advantage that like even though card advantage specifically they're like one for ones like trap dust shoot is a one for one technically sometimes it's a plus one when you chain it something but because they are like this um such a such a, a uniquely powerful plus one like or not plus ones uniquely powerful one for one and they interact in points where it makes it really difficult for your opponent to do things it's it's just a fun deck all right, what are we playing against next? What are we playing against next? We're playing against the winner of the other bracket. So, Ongo was playing Bennett, and Sanji was playing New Syntax. This has been a fast eight, man. That was two matches in under 30 minutes. That's rare. That's very rare. They're they're probably not even finished with their first, knowing these guys. So, let's go check it out. Yeah, it looks like Ongo is still playing. Looks like Ongo is playing... Um, hero frog and it looks like bennett is playing diva hero beat and it looks like they're in game three but it looks like bennett is crushing right now he stole a treeborn with a uh goyo guardian ongo just summoned a dupe frog to activate miracle fusion gonna try to get an absolute zero on play and at least blow up his own treeborn at the very least <coughs> worst case scenario here is like Book of Moon or Super Poly or something like that. I'm surprised he wouldn't attack the Treeborn. I feel like attacking the Treeborn is pretty crucial. Because now you don't get to bring the Treeborn back this turn. Rona, does he still have target? I guess they always play Ocean, right? 
and that guy, Junk Synchron. He can make an arm. D Prison. Brutal. That's going to blow up the Treeborn Frog. The Treeborn Frog is going to get destroyed. Are neither of these players recognizing the Treeborn Frog should be... Uh, Treeborn should be destroyed. Oh, he's just dead on board. That's why. That's why he knows. Yep. So it looks like Ben is going to play the winner of New Syntax versus Old Syntax. <laughs> just kidding, Sanji. I don't know. I don't know who the fuck he's playing against. Oh, they're still playing. Okay. And they're in game three as well. So perfect. Perfect timing. I can now, I can, I can cover, I can cover, uh, yeah, what am I saying? I can cover all of these matches. You can see everybody's deck who entered, not just mine. <laughs> Everybody except Joseph's opponent, who he destroyed in 10 minutes too as well. Dragon's best deck, baby. Oh, this deck is so fucking stupid good. I either get to play it against Hero Beat, which is a terrible matchup, or or against DD Warrior Lady. <laughs> I don't know. Is it three dragon decks in here? There's a D Prison. Any deck that summons DD Warrior Lady and attacks is probably happy it's trading with D Prison. M Phase Typhoon. Man, he just got away with it. He just got away with it. He set two and he said, fuck it. If you have Heavy Storm, you have Heavy Storm. And he just got away with it. You hate to see it. I hate to see it. You hate to see it. I hate to see him win, you know? <laughs> Fucking Dinah, dude. This is like slowly becoming one of my least favorite cards to face off against. I swear to God, if there isn't a Heavy Storm off the top here, I'm going to be so annoyed. Oh, that's a good one. Can't be bottomless. Mirror Force isn't great. Just attacks. Doesn't activate. I don't know why he didn't activate. The fuck are you not activating for? Is he, like, afraid of Regeki Break? Well, Tech plays Dyna that also plays Regeki Break. Frog? <laughs> frog stun? Where's Raunuk? Raunuk, where's the frog stun deck, bro? Need the frog stun deck. That's not even a good summon, dude. DD Warrior Lady just comes down and runs that over. Or you just set DD Warrior Lady and it's like... Okay, now what? What is he pl What is he playing? Is he playing Black Wings? He might be playing Black Wings. Okay, if he's playing Black Wings, then it makes sense. It's like Icarus. Oh, he's getting out-tempoed. That's really tough. Killing the Dyna, okay. Oh! Disgusting. And that's why you play Mind Control and Fairies, ladies and gentlemen. Please have Armor Master. He doesn't, but it would be sick if he did. He's probably going to blow up the field. <laughs> that's so fucking gross. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, new syntax. Single-handedly carrying Fairies. It looks like it is Black Wings. Could also be value turbo, but Jesus. Never side Dyna against fairies. It's a it's a straight up minus. Oh my god, there's a consecrated light in play. It's done, folks. Wrap it up. Go home. Why did he set the deck, Debbie? He had no target. Just to hold it, bro. <laughs> He's just gonna let him heavy it for free. That's your win con. What the fuck? People people think that if they draw this card, they auto win. You have to have a target. Like yeah, sure, you auto-win, okay? You auto-win. Just hold it. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you can have the auto-win. You hit the deck dev. Congratulations. Just don't throw it away. <laughs> what? Summon Warrior Lady, please. Yes. This does play into Icarus. Is that the third bottomless? Oh, no, second bottomless. I'm thinking there was three bottomless, but for some reason, there was only the, there was only the one that got used. What is happening here? That's so much back row. That's six back rows already got used. That's half the back row in the entire deck. 
seven back row. He's thinking about booking it. He just lets it happen. I mean, you have... Oh, he spent the Warrior Lady, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he spent the Warrior Lady. He has a handful of guys. Like, this is not that big of a deal. <laughs> like, you probably just win this one. That Black Rose Mind Control play was insane. That was insane. I don't understand why Blue Bandit made that play. That was a very bad play. <laughs> I don't know. You should always attack the second set. Because it's more likely to be... It's more likely to be Blizzard. It's more likely to be the tuner. It doesn't matter. But the second... Like, the first set is more likely to be like he just set it out of desperation. And then the second set is more likely he's trying to set up a play. That's why I think you should always attack the second set first there. It doesn't matter because he can't put the other half into play either way. But it, you get what I'm saying. See, like, why is, why is he setting multiple? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. This game is over. You're down seven cards to one. Like, what? what is your hopes? What are your dreams? It was the Blizzard. See, I fucking told you. I f what did I fucking tell you guys? What did I fucking tell you guys? I guess he has to has to side dine it out consecrated. Blue Bandit says I can I'm cooked. New syntax says I can only hope. Dude, fairies and dragons, man. Fun decks. I haven't played Christia fairies in a while. I've been playing a lot of Christia Sworn lately. Because I don't have the mental capacity in my current life state to study the nuances of the light angel. Okay. Hmm. It's interesting. We're going to see fairies versus diva hero beat. And that's a matchup that I think favors fairies. But if you don't know how to play it, then you kind of get smoked. He brought in Minecraft versus Black Wings. Hmm. Well, there's the Icarus. He kind of messed this game up. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> what the fuck? That was crazy. Oh my god. Herald of Purple Light. <laughs> Why did he set the deck dev, dude? That's your win con. You just draw Sirocco and you come back. You can be down seven cards. It doesn't matter. That would be a fun match to rewatch. Anyway, these guys are going to duel it out. And we are going to watch. And then we're going to play the winner of them. It's going to be ben Bennett versus New Syntax. New Syntax. He's a strong player. He's topped a couple events. Um... Most recently, I think he got, I think he topped an event with fairies. I think he got third place at the 3v3 with fairies. He did really well. His team was actually sick. It was like a hero beat with main deck Dinez was one of the players. Um, like a half chaos Christia Sworn was one of the players. It was like an Enrise Christia Sworn. And then uh, he was just playing straight fairies and just crushed. Yeah, they just crushed the event. They, I think they got virused out of, <laughs> out of the finals, if I remember correctly, but it happens, you know? Stratos, so Diva Hero Beat versus Fairies. Usually, if you're the Diva Hero Beat player here and you have the knowledge that they're on Fairies, you just don't attack. Because you don't want to give them, like, tutors. If he attacks, then it's just, like, inexperience. Yeah. Okay, Bennett's a good player. He knows what he's doing. He's not going to just give him the free Shining Angel. And he was watching the last match, so he knows what New Syntax is playing. So as a fairy player, you have a couple different game plans. The first one's obviously Christia, because that card's just fucking ridiculous in all capacity. Compulsory target Stratos. This is a Gore's. Is it not? <laughs> Why is he setting himself back so many turns? 
that's that's better for new syntax. Because now he got a plus out of a DD Warrior Lady that was, wasn't was going to get a plus. And he's up tempo. Yeah, that's pretty bad for Bennett there. I actually think that that was quite a bad play. I thought he was going to maybe compose the DD Warrior Lady. But dude, you have seven cards in hand. You can't convert. The, just let this Stratos resolve. There's no reason not to. What are you gonna what are you scared of? A couple more alias? Chain bottomless. Okay, he's gonna try to out tempo him. That's gonna be interesting. I wonder what the other set is. It's probably Legacy of Yadagrasu. Could be Solemn, maybe. Couple back row. Hmm. You at least have the initiative. Not going to flip the monster, so pretty disciplined play. All that just for 1,500 damage from new syntax. Once again, I am, like, in a new setup, so I'm, like, trying to get comfortable. I was on a flight today for, like, six hours, so I'm stretching and whatnot. Bruh. What is happening? I went and ate at this restaurant in Baltimore that was the best damn restaurant I've been to in a really long time. It was called The Helmand, and it was like a Afghan food, and it was so fucking good. It was like 4.8 stars on Google, like, just really, really amazing food. I, everything I ordered was great. I ordered like four things, and it was all amazing. <laughs> I was just like, damn... Every time I go to a new place, you gotta try one of the most banger restaurants there. What the fuck was he doing not attacking with this? He should have been activating this every turn. Oh my god, new syntax. Clown behavior. I guess he didn't want to play into Torrential until he had something banished. He doesn't want his guy to get deprisoned. That means he doesn't have another guy. That means he's low on guys. How can he be low on boys, new syntax? Get some more guys. Let's get some dudes. This is a obvious Gemini spark. If you're low on dudes, you can't risk the spark chain on the alchemist. He's gonna ask him priority in calc, and then he's gonna drop that honest on his neck, dude. So he's gonna pass priority. Oh, never mind. He's just gonna get his warrior lady back. Yeah, see, the warrior lady's nasty here. Oh, fuck. He's getting Shining Angel. I'm trying to set up for Christia. Okay, so his game plan is not banish all alias. His game plan is get to Christia because that's what he's sandbagging. So now we know he has a Christia in hand. And we probably know he also has a Herald of Orange Light in hand. Maybe. Maybe not. I thought he said two back row. I, I feel like him thinking on the Stratos was like... Telegraphing something. Ocean doesn't do anything. There's a deep prison. Banish the only water. And it's also good. This means you're not getting sparked. Doesn't want to give him the search with the alias, so he just passes. Man, this matchup is so fucking fun. I love this matchup so much. This is, like, one of my favorite matchups because it's, like, it's so grindy, and it's, like, one of them has an insane late-game payoff, but one of them has these, like, unique, like, like, Hero Blast, Gemini Spark. What is it? Interactive pieces? So it's kind of like, I would say it's like, if you ever play Magic the Gathering, it's like Delver versus Miracles or something like that. It's like, oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, Skill Drain here is going to be game, most likely. It's almost impossible for the Fairy deck to beat Skill Drain game one. You have two outs. So he's going to go Legacy of Yadagrasu. Then hope to rip Space Typhoon. Or Honest. And he's not going to rip it. Yeah, I knew his center set was a Legacy. He was trying to get him to bait... Like, to play the Alias into the Deep Prison and then spark the Yada. But he never had the position to do that. This is very bad. Skill Drain is game over versus Fairies. Usually these are the scarier Hero Beat players. The ones with the stun decks. The D.Va stuff is not scary. He might even be playing the D.Va stuff. That's the thing. He might even be playing, like, 
two divas and a Gilman or something like that. But like, nah. Yeah, it's just over. So that's the fourth fairy. He can special honest here. Yeah, it's not bad. But he can't return the honest to his hand because of the skill drain. So it's just like stalemate until Bennett finds his honest. And then you go to five fairies and then you lose. So it's kind of, it's kind of fucking terrible, actually, if I'm going to be real with you. He can't do that. Skill drain. Says, oh, I can't. He figured it out. Yeah. Nice try. Bennett said, duh. <laughs> Talk that shit. Talk that shit. Oh, so pal. Okay. This is a haymaker. Sometimes fairy players don't play this, but when they do, it is a, it is a really good card in the matchup. Oh my god, and he has Compulse to defend it. This is very, very, very good for him, actually. Normal Herald of Orange. Holy shit, is he going to be able to extend three times into his back row? So first he synchros, right? He makes a Goyo. And then he can either drop Christia or Sopal or however he wants to go about it. But he can drop all of them. You can drop Christia first here. Christia is negated. Okay, this, he's playing around Mirror Force. I guess that works. You haven't seen D-Prison or Mirror Force yet, though. No Christia? Where's his fucking Christia? Was he not, like, setting up for a Christia? What is going on? <laughs> Am I missing something? He's probably just trying to kill this so it can't spark for value. It's probably like a mirror forge or something. What? <laughs> what is your back row? What are, you, what are you doing? Why did you get back Shining Angel? What is going on? Why didn't he summon the Sopel? I don't understand. Main phase two, like, the summon resolved the first... Well, I guess it didn't resolve, but he had compulsory for it. Is he scared of a second bottom? Like, what is he scared of? Yeah, like, why didn't he... He just took 3,800 for no reason. If you're just going to slam this on the table, main phase one, like... Why would you not, like... Now you're just dead to honest. You gave him an opportunity to set new back row too. That was really bad. That was a really bad play. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't just summon it. Like, you can't afford to take hits. Damn, dude. That's crazy. All right, attacks. Honest here is just game. Unless he has a second Herald. Oh, he's going to Solomon. Okay, he's going to drop to 2k. Huh. Yeah, give him a chance to set the Solomon. That's, that was a really stupid play. I, like, I don't know why he wouldn't just summon it in main phase 2. Like, he has to have the out either way to win. Call of the Haunted. He can't even bring back the uh, soul. He has to bring back Alchemist. Yeah, that's pretty bad. And he's going to burn his other Herald here, and now he's going to lose to Honest. And his Christias are... I guess Christia is still alive. This isn't good, though. Spark here is game. Honest is game. Interesting. Guess there was neither. What a circumstance. Things I did not expect. Please summon a Christia, for the love of God. There it is. You still should declare a target here. He needs to declare a target. It's mandatory. Uh... Christia effect is mandatory. It will resolve. With BTH. Wow. He just won anyway. So it doesn't matter. But yeah, Christia effects resolve. It has to target something there. Because if someone's way target one fairy monster in your graveyard, add the target to your hand. You can't choose not to do that. You have to target a, a fairy in your graveyard. And then if he goes bottomless. <coughs> yeah. If he goes bottomless, then the Christia is no longer in place, so then you can actually add that fairy back. 
So in that instance, you would target soul of purity and light because if he bottomlesses, then okay, I get soul of purity and light. Like, fucking great, hell yeah. So, um, but yeah, either way, it ended up working out. Um, which is which is pretty crazy. They both had a lot of back row, but. The hero player just had, like, six dead back row. I don't know what his back row were. Maybe, like, Dark Bribe. Um, the second bottomless, he drew maybe the turn after Bionic hit play. Hero Blast. Couldn't have been Hero Blast. Starlight Road. Another Skilled Rain, maybe. Um, so despite having Skilled Rain, which should have just soloed the Fairy player, um, it just didn't because Soul of Purity and Light is such a crazy card. Soul of Purity and Light alone there got so much value. You saw how much it was able to let him like extend and like force certain things and force certain activations. And, uh, that's kind of the best use case for Soul of Purity and Light is in these types of matchups. Like Soul of Purity and Light versus Glads versus Black Wings and versus Hero Beat, it is very, very strong. It commands boards, it can't be attacked over, it stops pressure, it doesn't take your normal summon, it gives you grave control. It actually makes your other dude stronger. So, like, let's say I go, like, it's, like, game two. And I go, like, breaker, pop their back row, and then I special a soul. Now my breaker is actually 1,900, technically, because if they attack it, they lose 300. So, there's a lot about the uh, soul of purity and light that has, like, uses in these matchups. Just being a free summon that has huge attack, that's honestly as good as it gets in Edison format. Anyway. If you're the fairy player, you're like, all right, don't deck dev me. Not deck dev, uh, dust shoot me. Yep, and there's a dust shoot, so. Yeah. Stratos dust shoot going first. That's pretty strong. You know what's up in the hand. But if there's, like, double recruiter, then it's like, oh, shit. I can't get through double recruiter. What's he going to take? I wonder if he's going to write it out. Let's see it. Alchemist. Cool. Alchemist is good against Stratos if you hit, but if you don't hit, it's really bad. Because <laughs> then you just drop all your tempo and you go minus one. He has two Cyber Dragons. Oh, my phone alarm's going off telling me to wake up. Why did I set my alarm for 11.10 p.m.? Riddle me this. There's a D prison. He's got another Cyber Dragon. He can go special Cyber Dragon, normal Valley, banish both to draw two. What? <laughs> I guess that works. <sighs> See, this is the problem with that, <laughs> is that then this guy happens. Although I do think this guy's fairly weak against fairies. Like any any normal summon here just clears the dino. It's no longer a problem. Normal sets don't really work here though. The set card is the heavy storm, or it might be the solemn. He's he's probably he might be trying to like. Ah, did he really not have something to attack over the dino? What the fuck is the set card? It has to be honest. The only card you would set here is honest. Unless he, like, sided in Flip Effect Monsters, like, Raiko or some shit. But he can just spark this now. He's probably sandbagging a spark. Like, the way he's holding his cards. You just spark. Spark gets solemned. Yeah, it was honest for sure. It's the only card in the deck you would set there. Every other deck is attacking. Every other card is attacking over Dino. He doesn't have a spark? That's fucking crazy. I feel like you just spark that in the battle phase. Why would you not spark that in the battle phase and then get 1200 in? That's insanity. That's like, that's not right. That's false. That's a falsehood right there. He's just missing damage. Oh no. Good thing we're watching this before RV Team Maryland. I still have to play against one of these players. Dude, these matches. These ma My matches were so fast. It feels like a lifetime ago. All right, kills a dino. Why would you not hit the Stratos for plus one? I guess he has to kill that. Word up. 
another Dinah here would be really funny. <laughs> it wouldn't be good, but it'd just be really funny, you know? So, new syntax has solemn set, right? But you just don't really want to use it because then you can randomly die. Like to this. So, he is playing D.Va. He's playing D.Va with skill drain. That's crazy. I think that that is bad. I just think it's bad. I don't know. I think it's bad. I think D.Va is good in a more D.Va focused list. I really liked the Bubble Man D.Va list that KJH was playing. I think that list is good. It's also the list that Top Nats, not this year, but last year, was playing Bubble Man. And I think that that like, sort of synchro focus list was good because you can like you can make multiple plays in a turn with D.Va. And then, dude, why would you make Cataster when Bro has a Cyber Dragon in hand? Are we... Are we knowing what's happening here? He doesn't know. Just make Chimera Tech. It doesn't he just have Chimera Tech now? Call. Target Honest. Okay. So there's the Honest. Why is he doing this now? Is he trying to... Oh, he's trying to Heavy Storm before he goes for the Cydra. Yes, that's right. So he bounces the Honest. The Call is going to get destroyed by the Heavy Storm. And now he's going to go Special Cydra, Contact into Chimera Tech. It's so fucking over. It's, he could attack the Shadows first, but then he doesn't get a normal summon. Why would you make Catastrophe there? It's so fucking bad. Is he scared of Honest? There's already an Honest in the grave. He, didn't, he clearly didn't have an Honest. You knew all his cards he drew. Oh my gosh. It, if... That was that was rough. That was rough. He's not even gonna banish the only hero. He doesn't even care. He just says fuck it. I'm gonna attack for fifteen. I don't like summoning the worried lady here. What, what was it? What else did he get back? Honest. I kind of like summoning the honest and attacking for eleven better. Because now if he goes for a miracle fusion, you lose two cards. I guess you would lose those two cards no matter what. Huh? Maybe it's fine. Maybe I'm just wrong. I could just be wrong there. Because, like, if he has a Miracle Fusion, you're either losing... Well, it depends on his back row. The back row is Solemn, so, like, he could consider Solemn the Mirror Fusion. That could be another Dyna. Yeah, Dyna's just really fucking shit versus Fairies. I don't know why people sided against Fairies. What does he call it? What does he call here? Catastrophe? You can Solemn that if you're new syntax. Honestly, you should just Solemn it. Like, yeah. The resources are low enough now where it's like DD Warrior Lady plus Honest will close you out the game once he gets down to 41. Like, because, like, here's the thing you connect for 15 now. He drops to 41. And then if he tries to attack your, your guy, you just drop Honest. And then he drops to 26, and you attack, attack for game. And that's it. Easy clap. <coughs> once they get to this level. Uh, if you have Honest in hand, it makes it pretty fucking hard for them to win. I'm gonna keep it real. Brain Control Hero would be really good. That would probably be the best card for Bennett. But I don't think the Diva Hero beat decks normally play Brain Control, especially if they're playing Skill Drain. They should, but they don't. See, the Diva Focus lists can play Brain and Mind Control and Plague. And Bubble Man. I think if you're gonna play the Diva cards, lean into it a little bit. Here's a Miracle Fusion. Oh, that's a good Miracle Fusion. That is a really good Miracle Fusion. Mm. Yeah, that's just rough. You're getting two for one if you're new syntax. Like, badly. Damn, that's, that set was a thousand percent an overcommit. Yeah, that's, that was a pretty bad set. I think it was just a bad set in general. Like, you can summon it next turn. Like, why did you need to set it that turn? Were you scared of dying through... Like, everything that killed you through one warrior lady killed you through one warrior lady set monster. Like, double miracle kills you either way. And phase dust. Hits the bottomless. That's tough. Now you're just dead to any monster. 
There's a monster. Wow. Okay, so we're actually going to game three. Yeah, that was a pretty um, pretty terrible play from New Syntax that game, sitting that Nova Center. Because, like, what the fuck is beating DD Warrior Lady Honest? What is beating that? In, if, they, if you give your opponent a three-card hand there, what is beating that? Okay, it involves Miracle Fusion. Miracle Fusion is what beats that. So, if Miracle Fusion is what's beating that, why overcommit into that Miracle Fusion? It doesn't make any sense. Especially because you have the lethal pivot no matter what the next turn. Setting the monster is always wrong. If you're going to try to play around Torrential, then you would summon the Nova Summoner. But, just setting the monster doesn't make any fucking sense. Another thing New Syntax could have done is just dropped Honest to keep his life total high and then also banish the guy. Yes, you go three for one. Sure, but at least your opponent drops to, what was it, 20, 20 fucking, 20, 24, f fuck was he at? I don't even remember. At least he drops low enough where you can kill him, you know? <coughs> Terminal Future Fusion, brutal. Bennett has opened pretty well every single game. He's had like Stratos, Dust Shoot, Future Fusion. Um, like, pretty consistently. To be fair, the deck is consistent, but, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just those three cards, right? I guess you should technically open Stratos, like, every game, because you have, like, four copies of it or something, but Future Fusion and Death Shoot, it's pretty low percentage that you see those cards. Stratos makes sense, though. I'd attack with the Stratos here. Because you have zero coming. So, like, doesn't matter what they tutor at this point. Term 1 set is usually Warrior Lady anyway. Because he wants to get his Alchemist live. So he can crash it into Stratos. It's just how the game plays out. Like, if you've played this matchup a ton like I have. You know how the games play out. Here he goes again, New Syntax, just setting a second fucking monster into absolute zero. Why are we doing this? What is the game plan here? Get two for one? Like, what? I don't understand. If he doesn't have a way to lock this shit up, then he just fucking loses. Also, setting monsters after your opponent has shown multiple Dyna is pretty crazy. To be fair, summoning a Dyna here would lock out his own absolute zero. But, it could get really bad for you. Eco gets third and final alias or gets ocean. Probably ocean. Ocean makes the most sense, yeah. Because there's actually something in the grave. Dude, this is like such a... Such a rough position to be in. End phase dust the set. Okay, maybe he has heavy storm for the future. That makes a little bit more sense. Um... As to why he overcommitted. Man. This is so tricky. Flip Angel. Flip Nova Summoner. Normal Angel. <laughs> Bro said fuck it all recruiters. So I think the game plan here is... Warrior Lady... Cyber Valley. Well, if you want to keep him off the Absolute Zero, you could drop a Christia too. So, like, I think the game plan is to go get four fairies, Warrior Lady, banish the ocean, and then drop a Christia. And then your opponent is, like, dead and you have eight cards in hand. <laughs> That's, I don't know what to say. If you have Christia here... Then it's that. And even if you don't have Christia here, then it's still that because Cyber Valley can draw you into Christia. So you want to set up four fairies plus a Cyber Valley and a guy you want to banish to the Cyber Valley. So, yeah, crash here. Get all your fairies. And this is this is actually super, super nice for New Syntax. He doesn't have to lose a lot of life points. He basically gets to uh, stack his whole graveyard, thin his deck, set up everything perfectly. Uh, Bennett's looking at his hand of, like, fucking Alias Vanilla and, like, and probably another monster that doesn't do anything, like Deep Sea Diva or something like that. And he's probably just asking himself why, why he had to face the guy with the Dust Tornado set. <sighs> yeah, so this, he's, he's beginning to believe 
All right, yeah, set up the fourth fairy, please. Please set up four fairies here. If you don't set up four fairies here, you're bad. Like, you're just actively bad. Um, you definitely want to set up the fourth fairy. The only way he wouldn't set up the fourth fairy here is if they're all in his hand, but that just doesn't make sense. So he's going to go angel, crash into ocean, and then I think you get... I don't even fucking know what you get, man. But you gotta banish the ocean. Like, that's the most important part here. So he doesn't get that plus. You probably get, like, just another recruiter. Because they're so bad at this point. Herald of Orange I don't like getting. Because you want to keep that to negate honest. But I think it doesn't really matter that much. You're so far ahead. Oh, weird. He left the DD Warrior Lady in play. Oh, this, this play is, is all whack. This play is all bad. I don't... I don't like this play at all. Uh, he says he thinks he fucked up. Yeah, he... What the fuck? This play is terrible. <coughs> this play is really bad. I don't like this play at all. He has to draw a Christian now. And even if he draws a Christian now, like, that is bad. Yeah, no, this is fucking awful. This is really fucking bad. That was a... That was not good. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. Folks, I don't know what to tell you, but that was bad. That was... That was really bad. Then it says crazy. I mean, it's not that crazy. He drew Christia, like... It's a three of... Like, you open Future Fusion Stratos, you can't really, you can't really say crazy. <laughs> you can say crazy because he fucked up the play. You can definitely say crazy. It says, should have been honest. Yeah, it should have been a million different things. What the fuck was that? That doesn't make sense at all, dude. I mean, it's not gonna matter. He just wins. But... <laughs> That is crazy. That is crazy. Oh, man, are we going to play Warrior Lady Dragons versus Warrior Lady Fairies? That's going to be fucking hype. Brutal matchup. Oh, my God. He just has it. He's just fucking him. Yeah. There goes the back row. Please summon something else. Yes, yes. Wait, no, 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 no. No, that's a fifth fairy. What are you doing? Now he goes, alias, run over the Shining Angel, sparked your Christia, and he's back in the game for no reason. Why? Not a good play. I don't think it'll matter, but it's not a good play. Huh. Okay, this doesn't... Huh. What, wouldn't you let the fucking spark resolve at least before mind crushing this is that was one of the that was one of the worst mind crushes I've ever seen what dude I hope he rips miracle fusion just to like <coughs> I hope he rips miracle fusion I hope he rips it. He deserves to rip Miracle Fusion here. Not that ripping Miracle Fusion does anything, but he deserves to draw it. First off, because he fucking knew the last card! He knew the last card in his hand was Alias! He knew that. Right? Oh my god. Never punished. Literally never punished. Alright, I'll play a new syntax. When I play fairies, they rip Miracle there every time. And then they attack the young, Shining Angel, shuffle away the Christia, and then they come back and slowly kill me under a light mirror. Every single time I play fairies, that happens. God. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's so fucking stupid. That's so fucking stupid, dude. All right, good luck, have fun. 
Lord Almighty, give me a fucking Drago. He's picking scissors again. He's picking fucking paper. You think I'm you think I'm a fool? You think I'm a fool? I know your games, new syntax. I've played you enough. I know your rock, paper, scissors games. Oh my god. They call me him. Himothy Chalamet. Alright, future fusion. Just fucking. Two, three, four, and are we banishing? Is he gonna DD Worry Lady or Red Eyes? Probably, right? He's gonna DD Worry Lady or Red Eyes, isn't he? They always do. They always fucking do. Uh, I guess I'll send White Knight Dragon. I don't really wanna draw White Knight Dragon. Set Wyvern, set Space Typhoon, pass turn. Okay. So. Consecrated Light. Main deck. Go off, King. Uh, is there any reason to M phase this? Chainables include Legacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Normal totem dragon, question mark. So he's forced to spend a card on this if he wants to keep his consecrated in play. Book of Moon, my totem dragon, beautiful. Um, main phase two. Honestly, I can just pass. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that we won't get the five-headed. It really doesn't matter because we have the totem resource and we have the wyvern resource. So, future fusion's already given me a plus, and the totem dragon got me a plus too. So, we're just up our lives. I'm just gonna flip the totem again. All right, battle phase. Attack this guy. He'll take four hundred. Uh, so I want to set call. Kinda. Low key. I'm gonna set Wyvern. And set call. And then pass. He's got one fairy. This is, this is an interesting game. An interesting game. Oh, what is that? Is that a new back row that I can Typhoon? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Oh, Gold Sarcophagus. My old friend. Mr. Sarcophagus. <laughs> My old friend. Sound effects. Dragons are attacking. Gold Sarcophagus. Give me my fucking heavy storm. Oh, I should have searched. I should have searched Vortex. I'm ass. <laughs> I'm so bad. Legacy, sure. What's his game plan? I don't even understand. Mind control the set monster? Alright. It's Wyvern. Cool. Got Cyber Valley. That's fine. Yeah, we should have game, don't we? <laughs> like, what? Don't we just have game? Isn't it just over? Oh, he has so much back row. That's right. I forgot about the back row. We get Heavy Storm next turn. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's Rota for Warrior Lady. I just summon it. Fuck it. Why not? Battle phase. Um, attack for 400. Mirror Force. It's totally fine. Do we call the Drago now? Uh. I don't think so. We should pass. Um, 
all of this is okay. We get Heavy Storm next turn, and then we should be able to win. Like, here's Angel. That is gonna get you a... Call on DD Warrior Lady. And summon DD Warrior Lady. Okay. Right. Now we get Heavy Storm. Battle phase attack. D prism vanishes. Do we set dust tornado? Set dust tornado, set warrior lady, is that the plan? This is such a strange Thing. I think it's just set Dust Tornado Pass. Huh. What a weird game this has been. This 1400 doesn't matter. Hmm. I'm gonna in phase dust the new one. Interesting choice. Standby phase. Totem dragon. Has to be in attack position. All right. Main phase one, heavy storm. Chain legacy, it's fine. Just needed to get rid of that shit. Banish special red eyes. All right, herald me. Okay, no herald. We get to go into white knight. And then I can normal warrior lady in battle phase. Attack. And then we should have game, unless he has gores. Banish, banish. Red eyes attacks. He takes 28. He does have gores. Okay. Kill the token. Main phase two, set bottomless, pass turn. So, we got two cards that kill the gores, and they're both lethal threats. Got bottomless to stop a warrior lady. Brain control. Okay. Why not? Negate. People just forget this card has fucking text. <laughs> what? I can't read, obviously. <laughs> F in chat, bro. F in chat. What is this? Bottomless? Oh, that's rough. Mirror Force is gone, right? Yeah, Mirror Force is gone. Trenchel's still here, but I have Wyverns, so possibly go wrong battle phase white knight clears yep that's crazy why would he do that i mean like it's still bad for him he has to brain control red eyes just to crash it and then we can bring it back in the end phase and it's like like another turn for him to like get fucked but i don't know man that's crazy anyway um, we've got some good ones for this matchup. I think Travel is pretty good. I think Lightmare is pretty good. 
Prohibition's interesting. Can work. Rivalry's interesting. It can work here and there. Um, same thing with Knock. These are all like like fine cards that can do things. The cards I don't love are Starlight Road. Actually, don't love that card that much. And I don't love Mass Dragon, but we kind of need a bare minimum number of dragons for red eyes. Uh, I could set out one Warrior Lady because I'm bringing in Light Mirror. But Warrior Lady's like our best card, so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Dust Tornado isn't that great. It was okay that game, though. Actually, Bottomless is pretty bad. Uh, is Compulsory better than, like, fucking Rivalry? Yeah, Rivalry's probably not that good. Prohibition's the only one where I'm like, huh. I could name some crazy shit with Prohibition. <laughs> it would be pretty interesting. I could name Honest. I could name Herald of Orange Light. I kind of want to bring it in just to, like, try it. Like, just to see. I could name Christia. Ah, this card's kind of cool. I kind of want to try it. I don't think it's good. Like, I, I legit don't think it's good, but... We are going to try it. And I'm going to cut something for it. Probably Book of Moon. I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to try it. Book of Moon's good. Book of Moon's great, actually. But... Alas. I want to try the new tech card. Maybe it does something. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Oh, man. This hand is gas. This hand is really good. <laughs> what the fuck? This hand is just like... Dude, if we were going first, this hand would be fucking crazy. Going second is not that good. But it's like kind of a oh, prohibition. Ah! <laughs> it's prohibition time. <laughs> okay, normal summon Drago. Dude, if the Drago gets bottomless here, I'm so owned. <laughs> oh, it works. It works. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna name Honest. <laughs> Yo! Okay, let me get my plus. <laughs> That's fire. End phase, reveal Wyvern, pass the turn. That's crazy. It immediately happened. That's crazy. And he can't even set the honest. That's so fire, dude. Holy shit. All right, 19 to the face. What do you got for it? Do you leave in gores? <laughs> End phase. Real wyvern. I could have summoned the wyvern, but it's just like scary torrential tribute. <laughs> I don't want to be torrential tributed. And this Drago's crazy. I've got Drago Compulse. Oh my god, it's so over. It's so over. Battle phase. Attack. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. That's right. At some point, I need to just start revealing different dragons just to flex on him. Because I've got a max rarity deck. And I need to flex the max rarity. <laughs> he can't even set the honest. That's so funny. Okay. Cool. Miss with the Alchemist. Okay. Respect. New back row. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. Do I have game? Probably. I was a compulsive guy. Yeah. You know what's happening. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. <laughs> Don't fight it. <laughs> Dude.
Did you have honest? Be real with me. Be real with me. Be real with me. No? Oh man, that's cringe. <laughs> GG's. GG's. Show hand, show hand, show hand. He didn't even have honest? Oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> Prohibition did nothing. It did nothing. <laughs> it didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. Oh my gosh. GG's. What is that? 6 0? No, no, no. I lost the game, didn't I? No, I didn't. 6 0 with DD Warrior Lady Dragon. I mean, Dragons is the best deck. Like, if you ask me, like, what the best deck is, I'm always going to say it's Dragons. I've never said anything otherwise. Dragons best deck. Even in my last tour, or not tour, tier list video, I had this deck ranked second. I legit think this deck is better than, like, I don't know, Vayu Turbo or whatever. Just because this card is dumb. Dude, this card just wins. You just summon it and you're just like, all right, <laughs> game's over. Anyway, uh, don't forget, RBT Maryland this weekend come through and thank you guys for all your continued support uh don't don't forget to tune in for the stream if you aren't able to make it see you in the next vid peace